Morpheus 5.5.2 and higher allows users to add price sets to instance types or layouts. These price sets then become additive to any pricing that Morpheus may have otherwise computed, either from a public cloud's costing API or from user-defined service plan in Morpheus. Now this is useful because service plans may apply to many instance types and layouts, and administrators may want to account for additional charges that are specific to an individual instance type or layout. If the additional price applies to all layouts that are underneath an instance type, we can set the additional price here at the instance type level. Or if the price set would apply only to individual layouts, we can set them down here at the layout level. We could even set some overarching price set on the instance type itself that applies to all and then also set an individual price set on the layouts themselves. And we can see here from this diagram how instance types and layouts work together to create a Morpheus provisionable library item. Well, let's take a look at a quick example. If I look in administration and then plans and pricing, I've already created a price set that we can use for an example. This is a very simple price set that I've designed to be set on a layout, and there's only one price underneath the price set, which simply adds $5 per month to the total cost. Now there's a lot more that you can do with Morpheus plans and prices that goes beyond the scope of this video, but we have a lot more in Morpheus documentation at docs.morpheusdata.com if you wanna know more about plans and prices. So here's my price set, and like I said, it's simply going to add $5 per month to the cost of any layout that I would attach it to. So if I go into library, that's library and then blueprints. Let me take a look at the layout that I've already set this price set on. This is a custom layout that I've created called Ubuntu VM. If I edit this, we can see down here where the price set configuration is. And to set one, we simply select the pricing interval. In my case, that was a monthly price set. And then once we set the interval, then we have a drop down, which is gonna show you all of the price sets that apply to the interval that you've selected. If we click add, then it's added down here and that price set is added to the layout. If we go over to the instance types tab real quick, I don't have one set on the instance type itself, but if I were to edit that, we can see that we have a very similar price set control here. So if you did wanna set it on the instance type, that's how that would be done. Let's take a look at how that plays out in the provisioning process then. My uh, instance type that I wanna target, which contains the layout that I've set the price on is called Custom Ubuntu. So if I click on that, let's go ahead and give it a name just to advance to the next tab. And once the configure tab loads up, we can see that we are using the, uh, the uh, Ubuntu VM layout, which is the one that I set the price set on don't even have any other layouts to choose on this particular instance type. But if we look down at the plan, these plans are just synced in from Amazon. These are the typical EC2 instance flavors. Uh, this T2 Nano plan is typically just over $5 per month, but we can see that the price here is just over $10 per month. The T2 Micro is usually a $10 per month plan approximately, and if we look at it now, it's approximately $15 per month. So it appears that our plus $5 price set is doing what it's supposed to do. And we can actually confirm that by trying a different um, instance type. So if I go to provision another instance, this time I'm just gonna use the default Ubuntu instance type that Morpheus comes with by default. And if I click next, once again, give it a name. And if we go on to the configure tab, you'll see that in this case, we're selecting a different instance type and layout, but the plan is identical. The plans are once again, gonna be your typical Amazon AWS EC2 instance flavors. But this time we're using an, uh, the Amazon VM layout rather than the Ubuntu VM. And this Amazon VM layout is actually one that comes with Morpheus by default. So it doesn't have any additional price set configured on it. And if I look down here, choosing the exact same plan, T2 Nano, now we can see that the price is just over $5 per month, which is the normal Amazon rate. It doesn't include any additional price from the price set added to the layout. If we jump over to T2 Micro, we can see the same thing. Rather than just over $15 per month, it's now just over $10 per month, which is the normal price that Amazon uh, charges and is synced into Morpheus automatically. So that's how we can add price sets to instance types and layouts. 
they will automatically live update the price that Morpheus is going to compute and the cost that Morpheus is going to compute for every individual workload, and that will be reflected on your invoices as well. So any additional price you may need to add either at the instance type level or the layout level can now be done with Morpheus pricing tools. Thank you.